Editing Cell Contents in Excel 2016 Selecting Cells We have already learned about active cell in the previous chapter. Let us recall what we learned. Selecting a cell To select a cell, we can click on that cell. A green outline will appear on the borders of the same cell. That cell will then become the active cell. Selecting a row Follow these steps to select a row. Step 1. Place the mouse pointer on the row header of the row. The mouse pointer will turn into an arrow. Step 2. Click on the row header and the entire row will get selected. Selecting a column Follow these steps to select a column. Step 1. Place the mouse pointer on the column header of any column. The mouse pointer will turn into an arrow. Step 2. Click on the column header and the entire column will get selected. Selecting a range of cells A rectangular selection of a group of cells that are next to each other is known as the range. We can define a range by the cell address of the top left cell and the bottom right cell with a colon happy smiley in between them. Example A1 B3 The cell address is unique to every cell and it is made up of a combination of a row header and a column header. For example, the cell that is selected is called cell B2 because its row is defined by the alphabet B and its column is defined by the number 2. We can edit the contents in a range of cells by selecting that range of cells. We can do it in two ways. Using the mouse, click on the top left cell and drag the mouse pointer to the bottom right cell that you want to select. The range will appear highlighted as we drag the mouse to the last cell that we want to select. All the selected cells will get highlighted except the active cell. Using the keyboard, we can also select a range by using the keyboard. Click on the first cell from the range that you want to select. Then press the shift key and click on the last cell, diagonal from the first selected cell, from the range of cells that you want to select. Selecting multiple cells. We can select multiple cells that are not adjacent to each other. We can do so by selecting one cell and then pressing the control key. After that, just keep on selecting the other cells that you want to select. All the selected cells will appear highlighted. Selecting the whole worksheet. We can select the entire worksheet by clicking on the triangle on top of the row header and left to the column header. You can also press CTRL plus a keys to select the entire worksheet. Formatting the date and time. When we enter the date and time in a cell in Excel, it identifies the minutes, hours, seconds, and MPM. The default time format is hours. Minutes, seconds, AM, PM. Example 12. 40, 12 a.m., 09, 30, 45 p.m. In a similar manner, when we enter a date, such as 704, Excel recognizes it as a date 7th April in the cell. We use the keyboard, shortcut Ctrl plus, for current date and Ctrl plus Shift plus, to add the current time. Follow these steps to change the format of date time that you entered. Step 1. Select the cell in which you want to edit the date or time. Step 2. Click on the Home tab. Step 3. Click on the Number Format dialog box launcher. Step 4. A Format Cells dialog box will appear. Select the Date option in the Category section. A list of formats will be displayed. Step 5. Choose the format that you want. Step 6. Click on the OK button.
We can see a preview of the active cell in the sample box according to the format that we selected. Changing cell contents We can modify the data in a cell. The process of modifying the data is known as editing. We can edit cell contents in two ways. Replacing cell contents Follow these steps to replace the contents of a cell. Step 1. Click on that cell to make it an active cell. Step 2. Type the new data in the cell. The previous data will be replaced automatically by the new data. Using the formula bar, we can, ch we can change the data partially by clicking on the formula bar or by double-clicking the cell. The cursor will appear in the cell. You can make the changes in the formula bar or in the cell itself. Press the Enter key or click on the Enter button on the formula bar. The cell contents will be changed. We can use the F2 key to edit a cell. Undo and redo commands. Undo command is used to erase the last change that we made to the worksheet. We can click on the undo button in the quick access toolbar to use this feature. You can click on this button to undo the changes as many times as you want. Redo command is used to reverse the last undo command. It only works if the undo command has been used before. We can click on the redo button in the quick access toolbar to use this feature. Copy and move data. We can copy and move the contents of a cell, range of cells or the entire worksheet. Copy data. Follow these steps to copy data from an Excel sheet. Step 1. Select the cells that you want to copy. Step 2. Click on the Home tab. Step 3. Click on the Copy button from the clipboard group. You can also use the keyboard shortcut Ctrl plus C to copy the selected item. Step 4. Click on the cell where you want to copy the selected range. Step 5. Select the Paste button in the clipboard group. You can also use the keyboard shortcut Ctrl plus V to paste the copied item. Move data. Follow these steps to move data. Step 1. Select the cells that you want to move. Step 2. Click on the Home tab. Step 3. Click on the Cut button from the clipboard group. You can also use the keyboard shortcut Ctrl plus X to move the selected item. Step 4. Click on the cell where you want to move the selected cells. Step 5. Select the Paste button in the clipboard group. You can also use the keyboard shortcut Ctrl plus V to paste. Deleting cell contents Follow these steps to delete cell content. Step 1. Select the cell or range of cells to delete. Step 2. Click on the Home tab. Step 3. Click on the Delete button from the Cells group. Select the Delete cells. Option from the Delete drop-down menu. A menu with four options will appear. Shift cells left will delete the selected cells and shift the cells on the right side to the left side. Shift cells up will delete the selected cells and the cells below them will shift up. Entire row will delete the selected row and the row below it will shift up. Entire column will delete the selected column and shift the column on the right side to the left. Step 4. Click on the option that you prefer. Step 5. Click on the OK button. Deleting an entire row or column. Follow these steps to delete an entire row or column. Step 1. Click on the row or column header of the row or column that you want to delete. Step 2. Click on the Home tab. Step 3. Click on the Delete drop-down menu in the Cells group. 
a list of options will appear. Step 4. Select the Delete Sheet Rows or Delete Sheet Column option. Using Autofill feature The Autofill feature in Excel automatically fills a series, sequence of data in rows and columns based on the data. In the other cells, we can use this feature to fill a series of numbers, days, months, hours, etc. In Excel, if we hover the mouse pointer over the bottom right corner of the selected cells, the pointer changes into a plus sign. This sign is called a fill handle. Follow these steps to use the autofill feature in a series. Step 1. Type the first two numbers of a series. It need not start from 1. Step 2. Select the cells and move the pointer over the bottom right corner of the selection. Step 3. Click and drag the fill handle over the cells that you want to autofill. Step 4. Now release the mouse button. The cells will be filled with the series. An alternate method for the autofill feature in Excel. Step 1. Type the first number in a series. Step 2. Select the cells that you want to autofill. Step 3. Click on the W tab. Step 4. Select the Fill button from the Editing group. Step 5. Click on Series from the Fill drop-down menu. A Series dialog box will open. Enter the Step value. We can also change select other values. Step 6. Click on the OK button.